more problem solving with the arithmetic sequence. So here we have an arithmetic sequence that has a sixth term with a value of 24 and a fifteenth term with a value of 21. So this means my sixth term is equal to 24 and my fifteenth term is equal to 21. What is the value of the hundredth term? Okay, so that means n equals 100. And what I'm trying to find is the value of the hundredth term, so I'm looking for the t. Alright, so if we think about our formula, tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. Um, I don't know d, I don't know a, but I do have some other information that I can use. But again, a and d are needed, so I've got to figure out what they are. Now, one way that I can do this is, again, think about a diagram for myself and try to figure out what that d is. So n on top, t on bottom. Don't know what a is. I'm not going to write everything out. I'm just going to say that's the sixth term. I know that's 24. And up to the fifteenth term, I know that's 21. And looking at this again, I know it's going to be a negative d because it's decreasing. So I gotta just think about, okay, what's the difference between these? The difference between those, that's 21 minus 24 is equal to negative 3. I'm going down by 3. Right, so it's a total of negative 3. And then how many steps did I take to do that? So, to figure that out, I need to just know the difference between 6 and 15. And that's going to be 9. So I know I did it in 9 steps. So here, I need to break negative 3 into 9 equal steps. So here we're breaking negative 3 into 9 equal steps. And again, you think, oh, that's going to be division. So negative 3 divided by 9. Now if you do this in your calculator, you're going to get yourself a decimal, um, which is okay, but if you use some rounding, it's going to be a problem, so you might think about putting it into a fraction for yourself. That's negative one-third. So if you write it as a fraction, it'll be more precise, and that's equal to d. So here my number is going to go down by negative one-third every single time. So I'm subtracting one-third from the answer each time I go. So that might seem kind of... Um, crazy, but it's okay. It is just a constant there, and it's alright that it's a fraction. So let's go to our formula that we've got, and let's plug in something that we know. So now that I know d, I can try to find a, and again I'm going to use one of these pairs. So again, when you're going to use a t and an n, make sure you pair them up. So my n will be 6th, and my t will be 24. So t, using this formula, t will be 24, a I don't know. My n that goes with 24 would be 6 minus 1, and then I'm going to times the whole thing by negative 1 third. If I put this in a solver, let's see what I get. So, type in what I see. 24, oops, 24 is equal to something I don't know, plus I'm just going to do the subtraction in my head. 6 minus 1 is 5, so 5 times negative 1 third. So negative 1 divided by 3. Oops. Um, don't forget to hit solve. And you can see here that you've got 25.66666, um, which is actually 25 and 2 thirds if you weren't sure. But in a pinch, getting to the decimal would be an appropriate answer for you. But um, here, oh, what was it again? 25 and 2 thirds, so 25.6667. So A is equal to 25 and 2 thirds. Again, if you had it as a decimal because you didn't recognize that 0.66 repeating was 2 thirds, that's going to be okay. It'll still work out for you. So now that I know that A is 25 and 2 thirds, I need to figure out what the hundredth term is. So I'm going back up here and saying, okay, what were they actually asking me? Let's figure out what that is. 
Give myself some more space here. I found A, I know D, so now I've got enough information that I can use my formula properly. So Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D, and they want me to find the hundredth term, so that means in this case I know that N is equal to 100, A is equal to 25 and 2 thirds, or you could say 25.66667 if you wanted to, but you won't get as precise an answer. And your D is equal to negative one third, and again you could say 0 0.333, but you'll get a more precise answer if you do it as a fraction. So let's plug in what I know, because T is what I'm looking for. So I don't know what T is, but I know that A is going to be 25 and 2 thirds plus 100 minus 1 times negative 1 third. And in my calculator, going back to my main menu here, 25 and 2 thirds, if you're going to write it out as a decimal, you could just go 0.667, but here I'd go times 2 divided by 3. Oops, that's not going to work. We can write out, we can use our fraction button. Let's do it. Oh, my fraction button's not working. So we'll go 25.6667 plus 100 minus 1, which is just going to be 99, times negative 1 divided by 3, 1 third. And here we get negative 7.33. So t sub 100, the 100th term, is equal to negative 7.333, which as a decimal, sorry, as a fraction would be 7, negative 7 and 1 third. Either way could work. Whether you've used the decimals or whether you've used the fractions, it'll be okay. In this case, we're not needing to be too precise. So again, what did I do here? I recognized that I knew two terms, but I didn't know A or D, so I found D first. Once I had D, I can plug in to find A, and then once I had A, I had enough information to go and answer the hundredth term like they were asking. So thinking about what I didn't know here, again, it was A that I didn't know and D that I didn't know. So D is one that I can find first, and then from there you can use it to find A.